Welcome to this conversation with the Morning Tea Marketing Misses. Our purpose is to offer valuable tips to small business owners and sole traders to improve their online presence and communicate more effectively to reach a larger audience. The uh, amazing ladies that are the Morning Tea Marketing Misses are Narelle Gaddy, who is an accessibility auditor. We've got Kate Smith, she's a graphic designer. Jan Roach has a website guru website person and I'm Janine Vosper I help people communicate more effectively you may not have thought of it just then <laughs> um, we're talking technology this month I'm going to get my voice back Kate you're it's, you're going to share your information over your cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody nice to see you ladies okay I'm going to talk a bit about AI today because you know buzzwords and all that but it is actually something I use in my own business and they're tools that are free, actually. There's free versions of the tools I'm going to speak about today and anyone can use them. They're very easy. That is the beauty of AI. So the first one I'm going to talk about is kind of the famous sort of ones, which is the image generators. So I use Mid Journey, M-I-D Journey. Um, there's a free version. If you generate something from the free version, you're not meant to use it commercially. You need to pay for a license for that, but you can generate images uh, with the free version. So I could sit here and you go forward slash imagine. That's the prompt. And then you can write in whatever you like. Four ladies sitting around having tea, speaking about marketing with green and yellow and whatever you like and purple aliens standing behind them and it will make it. <laughs> it's. A lot of fun to play with. Um, I've generated a lot of stuff for my social media. I use it a lot for stock imagery. So often I'll have a client and I'm presenting something like their brand and I want to have an image to kind of overlay the brand on so that it really looks the part and it looks like it might happen in real life. I can get an image that instead of searching for hours on stock image sites and finding something that kind of works, I can tailor an image made by AI that really looks the part for their brand. So whether it's a product or, or a color or it can be anything. Um, I had a client recently and they do beautiful linen sheets and homewares. So I was able to generate this image with beautiful linen, all the muted tones that their brand really was and just a few vases and things around. And so it was this very austere sort of setup and I could superimpose their brand over that so that they could go, whoa, instead of it just being a blank page with their brand or a generic stock photo. So it's great for these things. Um, yeah, social media, amazing. You can kind of, it's getting better and better at people. You will have seen a lot of funny pictures with hands that aren't quite right and the fingers are sort of cut off or there's not enough fingers. Um, it's getting better. <laughs> it's not always perfect, but you can generate a lot of really high quality images from that. So that's mid journey. Another one I use quite often, and this is something that's really handy for your amateur designers out there, because if you're in Canva, you don't have the ability to create vector graphics. And vector graphics are graphics that you can uh, resize to any size. It's not made of pixels. It's an algorithm so that it can be sized to anything. You can make it a billboard, put it on the moon. So... In Canva, you can't do that. It's all pixels. But if you export something from Canva and run it through vectorizer.ai, which is a pretty handy little tool. Is that V-E-C-T-O-R-I-Z-E-R? A very good question. Let me check. Yeah. Yes, with a Z. E-R? E -R, correct. Vectorizer.au, did you say? Or oh, AI, oh, sorry. Dot AI, yes. Okay. So it's very easy. You just kind of drag your image in. It will vectorize it and you can download an SVG or a PDF. There's a few different file types. And so this is something I see a lot of people run into when they do their own branding, for example. They've designed their own logo and they have it and then they want to go do embroidery or they want to put it somewhere on a sign and they've made it this big. Mm. And now they need it to be this big or for embroidery, you do need that vector file for the programs to be able to read it properly and create the stitching mm. for the embroidery. You need a vector file. So this is something that it's been quite inaccessible for, for you know, at home designers until now. So that's a really cool tool to use. Mm. 
And the third one's just a bit of fun. It's called Profile Picture Maker. It's just PF Maker. Let me double check. PFPMaker.com. Mm-hmm. So we've all got our profile picture and, and we all know that we're a personal brand um, and we've got our businesses. So what you can do with the PFP Maker is put your brand color behind you or put a pattern behind you or create some kind of background that it basically just cuts you out and gives you a branded background. You can put your specific branding colors in there, play with a few different patterns, find something that represents your brand a little more than a generic photo of you. And you can do this whether you've had a professional shot or even just a selfie with your camera. It just adds that little bit more to your profile, makes people kind of take note and go, oh, why? That looks a bit, you know, different. That's not just a normal photo. And it just adds another little touch point to those brand touch points, which I think I spoke about last month. You need 15 to 20 Mm -hmm. before people want to work with you. That's Mm -hmm. the average. So Mm -hmm. any little moment you can get your brand out there, it's a good, good idea. So, yeah. So I guess that's Mid Journey. And I believe that's midjourney.com. If you Google it, it will definitely come up. Mm-hmm. And then we've got vectorizer.ai with a Z and pfpmaker.com for your profile pictures. Yeah, I use a lot of AI in my business because it's it's going to revolutionize the way we design and many industries. So mm-hmm. I like to keep in touch with what's developing and it's developing daily so yeah I encourage everyone to get out and just have a play there's some really fun things sometimes they're super useful sometimes you just have a bit of a laugh and move on to the next that's cool I'm going to definitely play with some of those Kate. cool yes. <laughs> mine's, yeah, mine's the vectorizer I'm really interested in that one because that makes a lot of sense to me mm. yeah yeah and it's a profile than... maker well yeah <laughs> oh, that's Do it up. Oh. Yep. oh well done so much valuable information it's incredible yeah. it's uh I, and i think once we one of those things once we start playing with it then if we've got questions then to come back with you because you've been using it for a little while but what i found with a lot of the ai it's they're really easy to use and they, yeah 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 they've made it so anyone can and that's kind of the beauty of it yeah. Um, you do get better with time as you, and there is even a job description for prompt engineers now. That's a, that's a job title. Um, if you're really good at writing prompts for Midjourney or ChatGPT, these are jobs you can get now. No, oh, I, I just wrote a prompt for a, a blog on chat just before we got on and and then adding all my own stuff through it uh, as well. But the prompt was really clear. What I got was, well, that was absolutely perfect. From no. it, so, yeah. Yes. And I guess that's the other thing to think about with AI. It's it's rubbish in, rubbish out. So mm. if you, you've got to put in a good prompt to get a good result, if you're getting poor results, you need to start looking at how you're prompting it and yeah, yeah. find a different way to go about it. Yeah. Mm. Glad you're getting a good result, Janine. I did a bit of a, mm. I have a client who he wants to do blogging, but he's not quite getting around to it and yeah and I created a prompt with chat GPT so we could he'd give me just a little bit of information and it would make this whole story yeah yeah no it's isn't uh, technology cool (laughs) it is it's whether it's it's taking over a whole lot of different jobs and different things that are now obsolete but then Mm, as you said there's new jobs and that created so it's it's a Correct. Move forward and, and saves us time is the purpose of it, isn't it? Yeah. Although it can, help, it can yeah. be wonderful, but it can also send us down a rabbit hole. That was just <laughs> where, where I was going to go with that, Jen. It would be, oh, I could play with this for hours. Oh, you can, yeah, absolutely. You can. <laughs> Gosh, I'm putting my yeah. hand up for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is yeah. one Start area. Start researching that... something and, yeah, hours later you find it like how on earth did I get to this (laughs) there is one area though that I don't think and this is only my personal opinion I don't think AI can ever replace good friends yeah (laughs) and conversations like we sit and have Uh, that's perfect (laughs) Narelle yeah you're right a a wonderful segue for us (laughs) to wrap this conversation up 
Thank you so much for that, Kay. That was yeah. just incredible. I know I'm going to Perfect. look at it and play with it. And, uh, yes, that's. I like when my creative side can come out, <laughs> do something a little bit playful. And that's another conversation with the Morning Tea Marketing Mrs. If you, you know, you're listening to this, and you, you'd be going, it's the same as what we are. This is phenomenal information, so valuable that you can apply it into your business and into your life. And remember to jump on our YouTube channel, have a look at the videos, have a listen, subscribe, leave us a message. We like to know who's listening and who's watching. And also please share with your friends. We uh, want to reach out and grow our subscriber base and those that are watching and listening are the best people to do that. But thank you for being here. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.